Hey guys, Anthony here. It is day two of the refrigerator. It's uh, November 30th, 2016. Um, I'm having a few issues, not with the refrigerator itself. It is running, as you can see. Uh, I have it set, I think, on 33 or 34 degrees. Um, so it's running. When the compressor kicks on, that little orange light turns green. And so, um, so it's, it's running for the last two days off my battery and my solar panel. It is keeping temperature. I have been eating stuff out of here and some, pulling some stuff out. Um, the concern that I do have is it, my battery, my 125 amp hour battery, seems to be running lower than I expected. There it is, the compressor just kicked on. So you can see the green light. And this thing is pretty quiet, man. This refrigerator is really, really efficient from what I could see so far. The problem I'm having is right now we're plugged into the uh, 12 volt outlet. There you can see my voltage meter reading there, 13.2. The thing that I'm ha the problem that I'm having is my battery. The last two days have been overcast. Uh, you can see here. Cloudy, overcast, not too much uh, direct sunlight. So I think the one solar panel is not charging the battery sufficiently during the day up to a sufficient level. And then at night, uh, the refrigerator's kicking on and draining the battery. And so now that the winter's here, um, it's darker earlier and it's just darker longer. So what I think I'm gonna do, and I've been I'm going to put this video out, hopefully you get some help online as well. I'm going to raise the temperature of the refrigerator at night to maybe 45 or around that area. And um, hopefully it'll kick on, by then, by doing that it'll kick on less frequently during the night, thus draining the battery less. And then during the daytime hours I kick it down again uh, when the sun's out and the refrigerator should pick back up. So let's look at the um, solar controller and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, I think you can see the screen here. This is my um, Renogy Adventure panel. As you can see, my battery's at, I think it was 47%. The voltage is good, but the, see there's the level, 48%. I've got to get that higher, so what I think I'm going to do, like I said earlier, uh, I'm definitely going to add a second panel at some point, hopefully this month. But for my trip to North Carolina, what I think I'm going to do is, um, sorry about that, I got interrupted. So what I'm going to end up doing is put a second panel on, number one. Number two, I'm going to take this refrigerator off, take the load off the battery and plug it in in my house or in my office for a couple days let the panel charge the battery to hundred percent then put the load or the refrigerator back on the panel with a hundred percent battery raise the temperature at night and then see how it maintains the battery level with just the one panel so that's what i'm going to do that's my plan right now until i get the second panel and then hopefully the second panel would charge the battery quicker I think so I'm looking for any advice or help out on YouTube any guys that have this type of setup to chime in I'll even give I'm gonna give Renogy a call as well and see what they say but um, that's my option I think the second panel or even a second battery the panels cheaper the batteries 260 bucks for another 125 amp hour battery um, the panel I think is 159 with the kit to make it um, a parallel connection with the adapters for that. So that's my uh, deal right now with the panel, uh, with the solar, and with the refrigerator. It is running. This is day two. It is keeping temperature. It is working. I just don't want to drain that battery uh, too low. I'm going to see it's um, 12 o'clock right now. It's lunchtime. I'm going to see what the battery charges up to by the end of the day. Now, don't forget, there's a load still on here because this refrigerator is still kicking on and off. So I don't foresee it going up too much higher uh, than maybe into the 50s today, 50 percentile. 
So definitely tonight I either got to take the load off or higher the temperature. I may just disconnect the refrigerator and bring it into the house tonight uh, for the next few days and let this um, battery charge back up. So that's my story right now on day two with the refrigerator and the solar setup. Again, I'm learning. This is all new to me, so um, just a learning curve here, and I just got to get it to where I'm comfortable with the whole setup when I know the refrigerator and the panels are working in conjunction and working efficiently. So that's my deal, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all your help, and, and uh, please chime in with any uh, comments as well. Anthony uh, signing off. Stay ready. Take care.